had the worst case of the Mondays. If you've ever had the case of the Mondays, I keep hearing that in office space. Oh, it sounds like somebody has the case of the Mondays. I'm not even gonna talk anymore. I just do. Kind of preparing for our trip to North Carolina this week. My good friend from forever ago, Brian, is getting married. I will be getting ready for this trip with Megan. We're gonna get away for the weekend. We're gonna fly there. The world is my oyster. I'm gonna go grab a sandwich. Had a big week with the YouTube channel. Released a vlog, released a behind the scenes, released a music video. This week has been kind of a week in which my head's spinning. Got a lot of irons in the fire. I'm just trying to see you. Today's a plug day. Got a shout out to Great Harvest. It's delicious. Relatively healthy and always fresh. Not to mention their tomato bisque sandwiches are to die for. I just realized I said their tomato bisque sandwiches are to die for. What the hell is that? Their tomato bisque soup is to die for, which I just spilt in my car. Should be packing for North Carolina. Instead, we're eating pizza and drinking beer in a garage and playing darts. I used to work at this pizza place. I used to deliver pizzas here. I used to deliver papers in the morning and then I'll go to work washing cars at Don Moore and then at night I would deliver pizzas until 11 o'clock at night. And then I would get up at 4.30 and do it all over again. Stepping stones, right? Everything kind of leads to something else. So I'm, I'm proud of where I've come from. And this pizza is absolutely tremendous and delicious. So if you're ever in Owensboro, hit up 54 Pizza Express. This guy just got a ton of calzones and dipping sauce and he's staring at me like, why is he talking to his phone? Because I can. There's something about putting in hard work and you know struggling to make things happen because hard work does pay off. Oh my God. I'm about to drop it. I'm laughing so hard. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Megan said while she was putting the baby down, she said, call and order a pizza. And I said, what size do you want? She said, the biggest one they have. Oh, I gotta look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> we had to pop the trunk because the pizza was so big, we couldn't fit the in the door of this car. They said it was a 20 inch. So we are feeding everybody instead of just Megan and ourselves. <laughs> the best pizza I've had and I've been to every state in the nation minus Alaska and I've pizza in a lot of them this is the best just ate five massive pieces of pizza I feel like I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna go in the garage and hang out with some people that's what we came to do anyway when you walk into a room with like 30 people and you don't know anybody and they start to introduce you really fast to everybody and you're supposed to remember their name but you don't but you have to act like you do and then you sit in the corner and everybody starts talking to you and you have to acknowledge them. <laughs> Are you gonna have to erase that now? Yeah, I'm not using that at all. We should be kind of preparing for North Carolina but we're not. We're singing karaoke and you were singing Reba. I check out back, 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 back. Just walked in the door. Megan handed me the baby. This is Everett. Anderson's running around listening to the Gummy Bear song. Before I walked into my house, my neighbor was walking out of the front door, saw me get out of my car, shut the door quickly, went through their garage to get into their vehicle to leave. 
So it just got me thinking about all the times that I have intentionally avoided people, which then got me to think about the fact that as human beings, we long for human interaction. So why do we avoid people and avoid interacting with them? Just curious, just something to think about. Next time you want to avoid somebody, obviously if you don't like them at all, be kind to them, but you don't have to go out of your way. But talk to people. We long for friends and we long to communicate, right? See, Everett agrees. Just be good to people. And definitely don't make avoiding someone, if you're going to, obvious. Because it's pretty obvious. Wait. Mm -hmm.